Me when you're ready. Wave. Hey, we live? Yep. Woo! You know what it is? It's Friday. Get rid of the stick. We're almost free of the stick. How's that sound? Not good. Okay, everybody. Welcome to Festool Live. It's noon. That means we're doing it. It's Festool Friday. Wow, have we got a heck of an episode for you today. And many, do you know what episode this is? 90. Oh, wow. Can you believe we've done 90 of these Fridays? Wow. Remember when we started? Long ago. April 10th or 9th, one of those days. So we're almost two years into this. Wow. wow. I didn't even know that. You've been holding the camera the whole daggone time, Chris. Okay, let's announce the room. Over here, we got Big D. We're back in Lebanon. Hey, everybody. Fresh from Providence. We got Chris the Unit Cybert on the camera. Brent is online answering all your questions. Right here, we have Min Min. Minnie. Right here, we have Sparky. Hey, everybody, check this out. Sparky's got his crew shirt on. It's Friday. It's Festool Live. He is so stoked. He's part of the crew. We have a special guest in the back of the room. His name is Robert Hatfield. Woo! He's our technical support today. He's from uh, Bluetooth Technology. All right. Okay, now, don't forget, this is, of course, YouTube. You're watching it. We know you're watching because you're watching. But we also will be on Instagram and Facebook later today. Um, so tell all your friends to subscribe to all our channels. We really appreciate it. Also on YouTube, i got to tell you. We've been working diligently. We get the Build with Brent series is out there. Of course, we have Festool Live. We have Festool Shop Talk. We just posted a killer episode. If you don't watch it on YouTube, you can hear it on Apple and Spotify with Nick Schiffer from NS Builders at his shop in Avon, Massachusetts. A great episode. But also, we have a new series called Inside Festool. These are phenomenal. You get to see different places here in Festool in North America. Plus, we go a deep dive on some of the tools. It's a wonderful program. You guys have told us you love it, so we're going to continue. It's fantastic. Whew. Did I cover everything, Big D and Men and Robert? I think so. I'm good? You're great. Cr Chris? You are great. I'm good, huh? Okay. So, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> and it's, oh, God, we're going to talk about, of course, check this out, the Top Rock. Just got released here last Friday, March 25th, here in North America. Okay, and someone may look at it and say, oh no, another speaker from Festool. There's a lot more to this, and you'll see what I'm talking about as I deep dive into this new Bluetooth speaker system that's in the top of a sustainer. Okay, so you know us, you've pro you might have one of this. This is our Sysrock. I think this has been out about five years. It came with a bunch of cool features on it, including a radio, AM, FM radio, which is kind of cool. Okay, but the new Top Rock is a Bluetooth speaker because we know you work everything off your, your uh, iPhone or your smartphone. Okay, now there's a beauty to this. The reason we call it Top Rock, as I open it up and you look inside, you have a full sustainer 137 for all your storage needs. Okay, and it fits in the Festool system. But check this out, Chris, back up just a little. Check it out. And you're not going to hurt your fingers because it's got soft clothes. All right, that's why my wife made me buy one. She likes soft clothes. Okay, now check this out. If I take it, and it also fits on top of your sustainer stack. So think about the portability that we're known for. And we keep adding to it, because now with the new FS guide rail, 1400 and 1900, you can go to the job site all in one stack. Isn't that wicked? Whew! There you go, baby. All right, so let's talk about this top rock and some of the features. Man, <laughs> this is fun. Okay. <laughs> hey, Big D, how long have you been going so far? About four or five minutes? All right, four minutes. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about um, this right here. <clears throat> you, what it comes with is this. It's simple. Look, it comes with this wonderful owner's manual. It comes with a charger. Inside, it also comes with this bag. This is a Gucci bag. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to laugh at my jokes, Chris. Okay. Look, it's a bag for your charger. It's really nice. It says Festool. Okay. But it also comes with something we don't talk a lot about here at Festool. It comes with a killer warranty. All right. It's a, got a serial number. So you know, guess, 
if you know Festool and you know your tools and you go on my Festool to register it, you get a full three-year warranty with this. So this is a little bit more than just the job site speaker. Okay, now there's the electronics. You have a charging port right here. Yes, that's a USB port. That's not how you charge it. Because it has a 10.8 uh, amp, uh, 10.8 voltage battery. It's got three 3.6 cells in there. You can, when this is fully charged, you can charge your iPad. You can charge your. I got them right here. These are my iPods. Okay, but also you can charge an iPad. Anything that begins with I. I'm just kidding. You can also charge your smartphone. Hey. I got Derek to laugh. <laughs> hey, check it out. Derek's laughing. Okay, never mind. But there's also this port right here, and that's how you charge it. And you're going to ask, ah, how long does it take to charge? It takes three hours to charge. But on normal volume, you'll get about 20 hours. That's awesome. And if you crank it up, like you listen to this I mean, back in black, ACDC, guess what? You get about 10 hours of working time. But it only you get home from the job site, you plug it in, it's good to go, it comes with a charger. I already said that. All right. So, uh, you're going out to the job site and you go, hmm, I wonder how much it's charged. I'm going to press this button. Chris, get in here. I'm just going to touch it. See how it blinks three times? That means you get 80% and more still on the charge. If I hit it, just like that again, and, and if it blinks twice, I get 50% charge and greater. If I hit it a third time and it only blinks once, then I have 25% and greater charge. So if I hit that button just really quick and it turns red, that means I get less than 25% charge. I'd get it on, I'd get it on the charger, okay? And take the other one you bought to the job site. Hey, Mo! All right, now, to turn it on, oh, let me get my phone. And I can't believe Festool trusted me with this because this is a smartphone and I'm far from smart. But I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to leave it right next to it. This is what you need to do. You press this on button, on off button, but press it on like this and hold it. Okay. See how it's blinking? Hopefully you can hear it. It'll beep. Okay. It's syncing to my phone right now. Okay. And I, I just saw right there, it beeped ever so slightly, but right there it came up on the side of my phone that this is already Bluetooth enabled. That is your plus and minus for your volume, but you can also control it from where? From your phone. Okay. So you're on, you're across the room or whatever. Oh, you want to know the range? You could be 160 feet away and it would still sync up. Well, that's 50 meters. So when I'm, so this is the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab because of this broadcast, we can only do, what is it called, non-royalty yeah, music? Copyright. Copyright. Okay, so I'm going to, we downloaded this, and I'm going to put this on so you guys can hear it. I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> Woo, we're jamming, baby. Hey, check it out, Moonwalk. Get the feet, Chris. Woo, Minnie. Look, Sparky's jamming. Woo! Robert's jamming, baby. The house is jamming today. Woo! Woo! Hey, Big D! Hit it! Pate. You like pate, Minnie says. All right. We're jamming today. Okay. So, well, no, so think about it. You get this Bluetooth speaker, you get storage, right? You get the tarp rug, you get the storage. And that's killer, that's killer sound coming out of there. Where's it coming from? Up top here are four 50 millimeter speakers. And hopefully you heard that, but it's got some killer bass to it. <clears throat> the four speakers are aluminum cone, they're not paper cone, so they're extremely durable, long lasting. But right inside the top here, you can't see it because it's sealed. All right, oh, by the way, the instructions are right here, super easy. It's sealed. But there's two channels that look like horns that come out, and it's a base reflex system. That way there, it takes the, the bottom of the cone and diverts the base out to the side through a channel, and it's an incredible sound coming out of it. So I could end it right there, couldn't I? Because I just looked at everything. Base, I got it all right there, right? Plus, okay. 
But hang on, there's more. So what if you're on the job site and your buddy rocks on the job site and he's got one too? All right. So what do you do, man? He's in the other room and you want to hear the same music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> okay. And you can sync them. Okay, so let's start over. I'm going to turn it on. Right? Just like that. I'm going to wait for it to pair. It should pair right up. Okay. Did you hear the beat? Okay. Now, go wait a second or two. Chris, get it in here so you can see my finger. I'm going to hit this. You know what? Let's, let's crank the music first just to see if it's still going. Okay. Ooh, hang on. Cool. Hang on, hang on. Dance move. Woo! Oh, I dropped my wrench. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have it cranking, right? I'm going to take this Bluetooth. Big D, can you hear me over that, over this? I'll turn it down just a little. The music, the sound's incredible. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold it. See how it turned red? Okay. It's on here now. I'm just going to pause it. Ooh, hang, ooh, I didn't like that one. Let's go back to that one. Okay, ooh, I like that. That's funky. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. And what's happening right now, this is red, okay? There's Wi-Fi waves here, or Bluetooth waves, and they're coming over to this unit. And I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, just so it syncs up a little. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this button. Okay, you see how it's blinking? Okay, and we heard the beep over here. So now two of them can become one. I'm going to... Woo! Woo, baby! Oh, who's turning it down? Oh, and the music. <laughs> Let's crank it up again. So you have two speakers, all right? It's absolute. I'm going to turn it down just a hair because I want to show you another feature. Yes, you can sync them, but I was messing with this yesterday, and I know this is, I'm going to bring it back so you guys can hear this. This is a, this track that we're listening to is not truly in stereo, okay? But I'm gonna hold this button right here. Okay, you have three options. You see how it blinked? And over here, Chris didn't get it, but it blinked plus over here. So this is A and that's B, and it's, it's true stereo. I'll hit this again. This is now B and that's A. And the mono, if I put it back here, it blinks twice, now it's in mono. You can't hear it, okay? But I gotta tell you a story. Yesterday we were in here, Robert was in here, Chris was in here, and myself. And we were messing with this. And we downloaded a song from YouTube. Anything you, this phone needs audio coming out of, you can hear it, because it's Bluetooth. So we were doing that, and we put on, Robert downloaded Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. And I'm gonna tell you something. Freddie, we had a speaker over here, and a speaker over here, and we heard Freddie's voice go from here to here in that true, perfect stereo. So get two of them is what I'm saying because it's amazing. It, to make a point, is Robert bought two yesterday? <laughs> I'm getting my second one today. And I think, Chris, you're getting a couple, right? Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably, right. <laughs> it all depends if I get paid this week. Okay. So I just got to tell you now. Robert gave me a great, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm just going to turn this one on, off. And I'm going to bring this over here because I, he mentioned something. And in this morning when I came in, I go, I really want to, I want to make sure I can maximize your listening uh, pleasure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to play this one here. Okay, so we're on one speaker. And Robert pointed this out yesterday. He does this, excuse me, just a second. He takes the, he takes a, he opens it up ever so slightly like this. 
And you know what? He's right. He puts a domino in there, and it just seems even more fuller sound. Also, you could take it like this and put it like this ever so slightly. Okay, and that sounds cool too. You can get it up top there. You can put it just like this and aim it on top of your stack. It's just, it's an incredible speaker system. And I wanted to make sure I could get this across to you properly because you may just look at this and go, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's a sustainer with a uh, speaker, but boy, the sound's incredible. You can sync them. And <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I knew this was gonna be an easy one <laughs> if it's still alive. Um, I m imagine, I'm trying to think if I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I could get really, I did cover everything, Big D. Good, Minnie, I got everybody. <laughs> Woo, Minnie, are you losing your voice? It's coming back, I lost it earlier. No kidding. Oh, did I ever tell you the time I lost my voice? No. My wife said there is a God. Okay, hey, hey now, okay. <laughs> I, I think Brent probably got all the questions online because there's just a lot of technical questions out there. Brent and Garrett. And Garrett was on there too. Rick was in with me earlier today. We covered a lot of uh, technical stuff. I, I didn't want to get too technical. And I want to thank Robert for coming in yesterday to help me out uh, to uh, make sure I could simplify the sync uh, method. Now, I got to call this out. In, in the owner's manual, it shows you how to sync. Um, on the lid right here, it teaches you how to sync it right here, how to charge it, all the pairing. Okay, one of the questions that comes up all the time, do I always have to pair or sync them? Yes, once I turn this off, they're no longer paired. Whew. Now, what I'm really happy about <laughs> is sometimes I like to do a Fest Tool Live so you have a, a visual owner's manual. And the way I step through it from here to here to sync them, uh, we went back and forth yesterday and I think we dialed it in just right. So there you go, you have a, uh, when you get your, um, oh, you're on the job site, your buddy brings his sis, uh, top rock, <laughs> oh my God. So at least Festool rocks, right? Um, now you have a quick, go to Festool Live, uh, top rock, and you have a quick way to learn how to sync it. You have basically an owner's manual online. Okay, so I think all the questions were answered online, I imagine, many, where are we? We got a call where everybody's out. Hey, I gotta, I gotta mention something, everybody. Okay, Minnie's gonna get a bigger board. Let me go out back. I got some maple. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's turn this around. Sparky's ear. Watch Sparky's ear. Woo. Okay. Hey, I do want to call this out. We were in Providence, Rhode Island last week. You probably were watching about the TPC. We were at the U.S. Tool and Fastener booth. We had one heck of a time. Um, everybody who came by. A lot of you got a, the first batch of Festool Live t-shirts. Thank you for coming by. There was just two things that were missing there, and they happened to be right here. Minnie wasn't there, and I apologize for that, but also Spocky. Spocky, say something. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> so everybody who showed up, thank you very much at the booth. Um, we just had a terrific time. We have so many more Festool Live on the roads this year. Where's the next one? Oh, we're gonna be at the Rubio Monocoat event down in Austin, Texas. We'll be coming live from there. I think we'll about be out in Portland, Oregon. We're gonna be somewhere up north in Indiana. Also, we're coming to, it looks at this time, probably in September to Toronto. And I think we're gonna be at Hatfield again in November. I think that's the rest of them this year. So we really appreciate it. And I got to meet some of you last week. You came up to the booth. So here we go. I'm going to call you out. We have Quebec City, Canada. Matt from Tinley, Illinois. I know who you are, Mr. Litke. Paris, France. No way, really, Patty? Okay, cool. Emily City, Michigan. Yizu, per Para, Paramaribo, Suriname. You know that place. Yes, because I looked up the pronunciation. Paramaribo, para para Suriname. I got it. Woo! Rob from Cinnaminson. That was the first one I had trouble with, I think, back in 2020. Hey, Rob, how you doing? Great to chat with you the other day. Mark S. from Woodcrest, Springfield, Maryland. Ian from East Yorkshire. Joe from Watsika, Toledo, Ohio. Neil Jones from Wheatfield, Indiana. Mike M. from Austin, Texas. Des from Her Harrogate, England. 
Blake, Mr. Weber from Novato, California. Chris from Malta, West LA, California. That's Los Angeles. Larry from Sun City, West Arizona. Don from Albuquerque. You're always there, Don. Thanks. Kurt from Michigan. Tom from Ohio. Eden, New York. Soren, Denmark. James from McKinville, Tennessee. Michael from Edmonton, Al Alberta. Yes. Tom and Kelly from Eatonton, Georgia. Happy birthday, Tom. How the heck are you? I want to ask you your age. Everybody's younger than me. Bermuda. Dale from Swadilinco, England. Fenton, Michigan. Warren from Batavia, Ohio. Talon, Astoria. Jeff from Clarksburg, Maryland. Matt McLean from Middlesex, North Carolina. Craig and Tyler, Akron, Ohio, Southern California. Dana from Yakote, Washington. George from Naples, the Netherlands. Dirk from Dayton, Ohio, Germany. How you doing, Germany? Johnny O from Etco, New Jersey. Boy, Minnie, there's a lot of people here today. John from Fairly, John W from Fairly, Vermont. Is that, is that from on up top of VT? Is that YT? VT. VT. John W. from Fairly, Vermont. <laughs> Luis Listed from Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. Dan from Kingman, Arizona. Zionsville, Indiana. John from Tickfall, Louisiana. Ma. Matt. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt from Newark, Ohio. Mini, it's only halfway there. Claire from Belgium. Sylvester from Doro, North Carolina. Independence, Kentucky. Leo from Holland. Tynesboro, Mass. Cal from Robbins, Iowa. Dave from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Monty from Canton, Connecticut. Georgetown, Poland. Hey, it's back, Trishan. How you doing, Willie? Oliver from Marin, French Alps. Tim from Innsfield, Ontario. Pete from Taunton, Mass. Battle Creek, Michigan. Staten Island, New York. Paul from Reading, UK. Jeff from Raymond, Maine. Many is still writing? A little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn around. We're good. We're good? Holy macanoli. We have Big D. Oh, no, that's my notes for those guys. Springfield, Oregon. Rob from South Devon. England, Ted from Pinehurst, Everett from Homedale, New Jersey, Southern Virginia, Nate B from Washington, Akai, Finland? Yep. Is that Akai? Akai, Finland. Akai, Finland. Warped Woodsman, I love that. Toronto, Mo, or Missouri, man? Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Hey, Mo! Garen from South Africa, Ledyard, Connecticut, Andy from Paxburg, West Virginia, Patton, PA, that's Pennsylvania. Roll from the Netherlands. How you doing, Roll? Thinking of you, brother. Port Allen, Louisiana. Toronto, Augusta, Georgia. Cincy, is that a name or a place? It's a place. Cincinnati? Yes. <laughs> I think. Adam from Union, Maine. Hey, Adam, how the heck are ya? Oh, Romania, Belgium, Chris from Columbia, Maryland. Houston. Hugh Houston. Houston. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. Trenton, Ohio. Coldwell, Idaho. Idaho. Thornville, Ohio. Thornville, Ohio. Mississauga, Ontario. Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, Home of the Toronto Airport. Peter oh, and Peter's Diner. You ever been there no. in Mississauga, Peter's Diner? They have Rubens that are that high, stacked that high. Mm. They're to die. Mm, they're so good. Best, best Ruben I've ever had in my life. And you can get it in a pastrami, too. Anybody else, men, men? Um, remind us, what sustainers can be stacked to get the same heights as an MFT? I'd have to go look that up. Okay. Garrett, Other than that, I'm good. Garrett's got it? Oh, good. Yeah. We have T-locks, and I'm now the backwards. Garrett's got that formula. All right. We're good. We're good? Everybody. Okay, everybody. I want to thank everybody who's helped us out this week. Robert, we're going to put on, because uh, everybody's going to hear this. Robert's got the soundtrack of soundtracks after the, the after work wrapped up. I want to say this, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be coming to you sometime in the near future. Uh, thank you. We're almost, next, next week will mark two-year mark for Festool Live. We really appreciate it. 
Wow, can you believe that? That's awesome. That's awesome. Sparky, you're right there with us, aren't you? God. <laughs> okay, everybody, <laughs> that's a wrap. We love you. Have a great weekend. Thanks for being part of our Festool Friday and Festool Live. We'll see you next week right here. Same Festool time. Same Festool channel. Woo!